when Hornby and Playcraft offered their clockwork train sets in the 1950s and 1960s, they would ship with the same track that was used in the electric offerings. The idea was you could, for an inexpensive price, try out a clockwork set. If your child or you decided that you really liked running trains, then you could then buy a transformer and an electric train set and upgrade from clockwork to electric, but keep and expand the track that came with them. When later offerings, such as Minicraft in the 1970s and the Thomas, uh, Hornby Thomas clockwork trains, came out in the 1990s, and even sets like the Atlas Train Kids and the uh, Mark and My Trains, when those came out, they all come out with plastic track instead of uh, HL scale, regular metal HL scale track. What we're looking at today is an offering by an Italian company called Lima from the early 1970s. Lima called their clockwork offerings their Crick line. And so this is their, their Lima Crick Western Flyer train set. So the cars in particular have a Western theme to them. Notice that the track that came with this one is plastic as well. Taking a look at the engine, the engine is fairly large compared to a playcraft engine, or even a little better. So compared to Playcraft and Hornby, it's a little bit larger. Of course, it's still four wheels. It looks like it's got a different uh, motor in it, too. The, uh, yeah, even, even the, I guess even the Playcraft and the Hornby have a slightly different wheelbase, so they weren't the exact same motor. And the engine in the Lima set has an even, even well, longer wheelbase. So it's called the Western Flyer, but it still obviously has a uh, European uh, engine. It also came with two Western style, or late 1800 style uh, Western coaches course with uh, two-wheel trucks, European style. And it also came with this uh, flat car, lettered again for Western Express. So let's put the track together and see if it works. When fully assembled, it creates a rather large, larger than I expected, figure eight track. Unfortunately, though, this set is missing two of the curve pieces right there. So we can't actually test it on the original track that it came with. But that's not a problem. We have a layout we can run it on. So let's try it on my layout. So we have our train on the track. The next thing I noticed was when I went to wind it, the shaft that the key is supposed to go in is missing or broken. Fortunately, though, I was able to stick a, a judo screwdriver in there to wind it. So now that it's all wound, the other unusual thing is on the Hornby and the Playcraft, you move this forward, this lever forward to lock it, pull it back to release it. Well, on this Lima Cricket, Crick, it's, uh, the opposite. So, all right, we have it wound and let's see if it goes. So, 
So my first attempt to run it was not successful. When I lifted it off the track, it would spin, but it couldn't pull its train. So I took it and lubricated the ends of the gears and the axles inside the motor, and I wound it up again. Let's see if it works now. Now, as you noticed, when I tried to pull this train a second time, it still struggled to pull it around more than once. After I filmed that, I did take just the engine, wind it four full revolutions, the same as the others I did in my clockwork unboxing a few weeks ago, and I ran it by itself. And it still managed to do uh, almost three revolutions. It was pretty comparable to what the others could do. Now, since this is supposed to be a Western themed train set, I thought, let's run it on my portable Western layout. Now, here's the cars that come with it compared to an 1890s uh, Tyco car that Tyco produced in the 1970s. And the length and the height are pretty close. Of course, the Alima has rear pin style buffers on the end instead of a platform. That being said, let's see how it does on the Western layout. Something else that I did before trying this is I lightly oiled the ends of the axles on the rolling stock. Even though they're plastic wheels on plastic uh, bodies, I find that putting a little bit of oil does help them to roll more freely. So that being said, Let's see how it does. That wasn't good. Well, as you saw, it struggled to make a complete loop. Although in its defense, that same spot right over there by the transformer is the same spot my electric trains have trouble with too. So just for comparison purposes, here I have my little Jeff clockwork engine. Let's see how it does. So I at least made it one more loop. Let's see if we give it a little push here. So there you go. It did a little bit better, but and that is the Lima Crick Western Express layout.